What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I want to go through the latest weekly update just dropped by Bungie and if you guys want to read through the whole thing because they ain't covering the whole thing I'm just going to read out to you guys and report the best things in my opinion but if you guys want to read out the whole thing I will link it in the video description but before we get into the video if you guys do enjoy it leaving a like is much much appreciated especially in these dry times of destiny where content is always low people like me have to cover all sorts of shit like Zer, news and absolutely everything but yes anyway getting straight into it now starting with the main thing um, now it's coming around that time of year where Crimson Days normally comes back around, Crimson Doubles, you know that Valentine's crap, well I say crappy event, it's an event I didn't play last year, weren't really fussed about it to be honest, I know I missed out on quite a bit of decent loot but I just weren't feeling it, um, I want a PvE event uh, and I think, not guaranteed but I think that may be what we might be getting because they start off this weekly update stating first things first Crimson Days will not be making a return this year. We enjoyed adding some gunfire to your date night, but we have other plans instead. We're dedicating our efforts to delivering different things for you to play. Last week at Bungie, we teased that you haven't heard the last from the live team. Their next content update is taking shape. We're super excited to tell you about it, but we're not so excited that we'll jump the gun. There will come a time when you'll take a seat on our streaming set to talk about how we'll spend the spring time together. They go on to say it's rarely our policy to issue guarantees about things that are not yet certified for download. Given the work that is being done behind the scenes, however, we feel like we can start to call the shot. So yes, we won't be getting Crimson Days this time around, or Crimson Doubles, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Hopefully, hopefully they're working on some new, fresh PvE content, because in my opinion, that is what this game is lacking. What that could be, I don't even know. Hopefully it's something new, but if it is an old raid, remastered and brought back, I'd be equally as happy. Just in my opinion, PvE at the moment is where this game is seriously lacking some good content. I mean, it's fair enough with the dawning event they brought out these remastered strikes or whatever, uh, strike scoring and a few other things, but it doesn't last that long when you grow on the game as much as most of us do. PvP is different, there's always a weekly and monthly events, Iron Banner and Trials of Osiris, and there's plenty to play therefore for PvP players. PvE players though, which I actually class myself as, we are seriously bored of what we've got in the game so far. So a remastered raid, new quests, new strikes even, that is what in my opinion is needed for this game. And hopefully, hopefully when we do sit down on their streaming set, we get some good news. Okay, so getting back into the weekly update, they go on to talk about a balancing act and this is what they state. If all goes according to plan, the next update to Destiny will include some design work to refine weapon balance. The exact release date is to be determined. The full notes on fixes and changes are to be revealed. With every content update there seems to be one category of firearms that becomes the favourite option for winning a match against fellow guardians. Balance is like utopia, it's unknown, that doesn't mean we won't seek it. Upon the launch of the dawning, our sandbox team said this on the Bungie.net forum. As we wage wars in our playtest labs, we're taking a lot of things into account, player data, your feedback and our own gameplay experiences. We've heard the conversation about and felt for ourselves, shotgun dominance, yes we see you Matador64, but we feel strongly that our goal shouldn't be to nerf them into the ground, instead we're looking at solutions that could bring shotguns into a better state of balance with the rest of the guns in the game. In doing this, we would still want shotguns to be effective and fun to wield. We could quickly and easily break shotguns and call it a day, but it's important to us that we explore positive changes that can make Destiny better for everyone. Now I don't know how the hell they're going to do that without nerfing them into the ground, because in my opinion, no matter what they do to shotguns, unless they nerf them into the ground, they will always rule PvP. And to be honest, it's more than just a certain weapon. I mean yes shotguns are pretty bad, but what about the high fire rate pulse rifles like the Clever Dragon? I've said it before and I'll say it again, PvP weapon balance wise needs a complete overhaul of balancing, it really does. More than just nerfing and buffing a few weapons, 
But that's just my opinion. I ain't going to go into all of that shit now because I'll just bore the hell out of you all. But yes, like they said, they are taking a look at the weapons that are dominating PvP and are going to make some changes. Whether that's nerfing shotguns even further or buffing other weapons, I don't know. As long as auto rifles get the buff they deserve and shotguns, whatever they do to them, ain't as dominant as they are now, I'd be happy. They finish off talking about the weapon balance with this. We'll have more to say as the exact details come into sharper focus. Please stay tuned as usual. When we are ready to make promises, there will be developer commentary. There will be data and charts and stuff too. They go on in the weekly update to talk about Bungie Bounty Days. They state Bungie Bounty Days have been raging since we announced them last week. Every weekday until February 10th, we'll have another target for you to chase through the worlds of matchmaking. The exact time and platform will be up to those who lead the chase. Check out the full schedule so you can plan your attack. Now I'll put these on screen now as I ain't reading all these motherfuckers names. But yes, there's quite a few of them there on both platforms, Xbox and PlayStation 2. They then state, we know what you're thinking, what about this certain person or that certain person? These bounties will become a weekly ritual after the cooldown of the pilot calendar. Once a week, we'll set you upon another guardian who has volunteered to put on a good show. There is no way we could deliver the full scope of diversity of this community in one month. So we'll keep the party rolling for the foreseeable future. On a long enough timeline, everyone on the planet will have a chance to hunt down a designated mark in their neck of the woods. Then we'll start looking for candidates on the moon. It could happen. Now my name is on this list and I ain't really fussed about it. I mean, I ain't a PvP YouTuber, I don't stream or none of that shit. So I don't expect my name to be on the list. Plus all the negative things I do say about Bungie, even though it's out of love, I wouldn't expect my name to be on the list. But yes, I could name you a few other PvP streamers who do nothing but good for Destiny, who are a little pissed off that their name is not on this list. As it does in right promote their stream but yes that's their problem not mine so i ain't gonna go into it in the weekly update after this they're going to talk about bands and shit which to be honest ain't really worth mentioning but if you do want to read it like i said it is linked in the video description so you can check it all out but guys, that is it for another weekly update cover. Let me know what you think about the next event. Now we know it isn't going to be Crimson Days. What do you think it could be? What do you want it to be? Let me know down below in that comment section. Thanks as always, guys, for stopping by. And I will catch you on that next one. Peace out until next time. Peace.